A stress test is a good indicator for cardiologists to figure out if a patient has abnormal rhythm or if not enough blood is flowing to the heart. Today, the Rutland Heart Center opens its doors to show you firsthand what a stress test is really like. We get a um, large population of referrals for stress tests, and basically um, patients are referred for stress tests for um, a number of reasons, typically to rule out um, coronary artery disease or any occlusion of the coronary artery disease. We also see patients that have been diagnosed with valvular heart disease and previous coronary artery disease, and um, we use stress tests to um, guide our management of those. And also we have a small population of patients that are referred for abnormal heart rhythms, and the stress test is a pretty good non-invasive way for us to detect heart arrhythmias during exercise. Appointments for stress tests begin with a nurse meeting the patient, explaining the test, and getting them ready to go. Most stress tests hook patients up to a monitor and have them walk on a treadmill to mimic the heart being under stress. If a patient can't walk on a treadmill, there's a medication that can be injected to mimic the heart under stress. A stress test monitors how the heart responds to exertion. It's important to note that cardiologists do not supervise most tests. That's typically done by the nurses. I think that um, a stress test um, for diagnosis of coronary artery disease is a very good non-expensive, non-invasive way to um, diagnose and detect coronary artery disease and um, the results are obtained very quickly, especially if it's an abnormal exam and um, the follow-up is done um, within one or two days so, and we um, talk with the primary care of the providers very regularly about this. 